My name's Alan Hart, and today I'm installing a new Wiesman 111. So this is a Wiesman Vitadens 111. And I thought I would just do a video to show you how one of these boilers work. So yeah, so I've just, it's just temporary wired in at the moment. What I'm gonna do is I've got my new Wiesman tool kit here. I'm just gonna take two screws out of the bottom under here, and then I'm just gonna lift the front cover off. And what we'll do, I'll explain to you the insides of it and how it works. And then I'll also go through the front display as well and show you how that works. Let's have a look now. Right, so I've removed the case now. And if we have a look inside, we've got a standard heat engine. We'll have a look inside there shortly and that's what's in the the 100 range of boilers so we'll have a look at that we've got a 46 litre heat cell in here as well we've got the expansion vessel um for for that as well um, normally when this comes this green one the pressure in it will be quite high so you will need to adjust that and that needs to be balanced with the cold mains pressure so if your cold mains is uh, two bar or three bar then you would put you would alter that to that you've got your expansion vessel in here so this is for the central heating part of the system and normally i normally set these around 1.2 ish depending on property um, also on this system i've added an extra expansion vessel um, very very important for for all boilers is to check these on a service very very important indeed um, we've got a stepper motor up front here this is a diverter valve if you like and then we've got at the back here we've got a plate heat exchanger we've also got a couple of pumps as well what i'll do is i'll zoom in zoom in now and i'll show you inside here so once the boiler has fired up uh, this this stepper motor this diverter here We'll change it to which one we're asking it to be. So if we were asking it to be hot water, this would go to the hot water, the boiler would fire up, and it would go through this plate heat exchanger here. And then the other side of the plate, the water, so the water doesn't mix, it transfers the heat through the plate. And then this pump here will pump it into, if you sit, if you like, the unvented cylinder. So again that's the stepper motor and it's going through the plate goes into the heat cell and inside this heat cell it's got two pipes that go up inside and one of them is the hot water going in and one of them is the hot water coming out and going to the taps and that is slightly lower uh, but it goes all the way up into this tank all the way up here somewhere quite high, quite high up and that's so that you're not drawing off cold water from the bottom there this cylinder will recover in about seven minutes from totally cold uh, one thing i've done is i've just wrote that on there for me to remember this boiler is 63 um, kilograms when it's when it's empty so it's quite a heavy boiler so if we have a look inside i'll have a look in the where the heat engine is the heat exchanger take these clips off on the bottom and the cover just lifts off If we look inside the boiler, we can see that we've got the Wiesman heat exchanger. So this is the burner, but this is the stainless steel heat exchanger. So that's one single coil all the way around, which is about a 22 millimeter pipe that goes all the way around. One continuous coil. In this model, we've got the rubber hoses. I've been informed by Wiesman that if the pressures are right, if you keep your expansion vessel charged, then you're never gonna have an issue with them hoses. Personally, I'm not a lover of the hoses, but I did go to one other day that were 10 year old, no issues at all. So I, I, it depends on the installation, I think, to be honest. All in all, I think these boilers, the performance from these boilers is absolutely amazing. Like no other boiler really, 
it, it's like an unvented system. Um, well, it is sort of an unvented system, but it's in a small box or a smaller box than a boiler and an unvented cylinder. Um, so it gives you that performance, but in a smaller compact box. What we'll do now, um, I'll put the case back on and we'll go through the front display. There's all sorts of settings on this front display, which I think I'll do them in, in a different video, but you can you can set up parameters and you can um, adjust your heating load. So if you wanted to turn the heating load down, if the property is, um, say it's 20 kilowatts the property and you wanted to adjust that, then, then you can do that as well. Um, so yeah, so let's have a look. We'll have a look at the front display now. I'll just pop the case back on. Before I put case on, just a, just a little tip, just to get the air out of the heat exchanger, what I do is just open, the boiler comes with, uh, the boiler comes with this, this plastic tube here, and that's to get the air out of here. And what you can do is, if you just open this, And then as you open that, what I do as well is I just open, open the filling loop underneath. So now it's filling up and we get air out of the heat exchanger. So just a quick tip for you that. If we have a look at the front display on this Wiesman 111. So this is the Wiesman Vitadens 111 storage combi boiler. If we click on the mode, and now that's flashing central heating. If we click on the central heating, I'm just gonna turn that down, turn that off just for a minute. Click okay, and okay again. So that's the heating off on this control. Go back to mode, scroll down. The tap is now flashing. If we click on okay, that's the temperature of the hot water. And again, we can turn that down or to whatever we want it to be. And again, just turn that off. So now that's the hot water and the central heating both off on this display. If we want to go into different settings on this, we've got service mode there. If we click into that, we can do a service mode. We can do as high and as low for as analyzer. If we click again, we can go into configuration if we go into that and we scroll up to number 12 click ok we can actually go into a settings on here i'm not going to do that now i'm just going to come back out of that but that's the front display you can as i said before you can adjust the hot water load heating load all sorts in these settings. You can adjust this screen display. You can make contrast brighter and down. So the display on it, it's very, very good. Very, very good indeed. So that's as sort of like little review or overview of a Wiesman 111 storage combi. If you've got any questions, please ask them in comments below and I'll, and I'll try my best. Um, I'll try my best to answer them for you. Um, yeah, if you if you'd like to subscribe, if you don't them, if you <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe, even um, if you click up here, I'll put a link to uh, to subscribe. Thanks for watching.